Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In this session, I am going to demonstrate assembly language program to find the factorial of a number based on LPC2148 ARM7 architecture. Hello and welcome to my channel. In this session, I am going to write an assembly language program to find the factorial of a number. Okay, so the number what I am going to take here is 5 and you can see here in the data segment. Okay, this is the data segment and uh, the name of the data segment is data 3 and it is mapped to uh, read only here and the number what I'm going to take an hexadecimal number that is 5 0x5 and it is defined as DCW here DCW is an assembly directive uh, which is going to allocate uh, one or more half words of memory one or more half word of memory aligned on two byte boundaries it is aligned on 2 byte boundaries that means only 2 bytes of location that means 16 bit uh, number it can store okay so that is the number we are taken we are not using dcd here in this case because we are not uh, uh, calculating the factorial of uh, 32 bit number hardly we will take it around 16 bit number so this is dcw it is a defined uh, constant word and dcd is for a defined constant data uh, definitely it will take one or more words of memory okay so that is 32 bit uh, word and which is aligned on 4 byte boundary so as of now we are taking it a 16 bit number that is a num dw05 as as i know that uh, all of you are aware that uh, how to calculate the factorial of a number so how do we do that we take a number okay and we store it in a, another register and of course a later case we just uh, uh, decrement that 5 with 1 so we get 5 and 4 and we just do the multiplication 5 into 4 will give you 20 and that 4 has to be decremented by 1 it is 3 then again 20 into 3 is uh, 60 60 into 2 is uh, 120 so 120 is the final answer anything multiplied by 1 remains same so 120 is the output right or uh, that is the factorial of 5 and uh, it is also uh, important to note that the factorial of 0 and 1 is also 1 factorial of 0 and 1 is 1 itself okay so keeping all these uh, points in mind let us write an assembly language program to find out the factorial of a number so in the first line as you can see we are written ttl factorial of a number so ttl is an assembly directive it is a title here ttl represents title so anything written besides that will be considered as the title of the program and this is the code segment area the name of the area is program 3 and uh, it is mapped to read only here okay so this is the entry point uh, where we are going to write the logic of the program here and we have the first label start and similarly we have multiple other labels like repeat stop num all these things and uh, probably they have written uh, in the left justification okay or uh, remember that that has to be done here because the logic of the program should be written at least one tab space towards right okay and now let us understand this program and try to understand the logic of this program and write it and it's very important to be noted that only two operations are involved in memory that is load and store either we can load the data or we can store the data loading is borrowing the data from the memory to the register storing is storing the data from the register to the memory okay so what do we, what do we need to do here is first of all we had uh, assigned the value 5 to the num right so we need to store it in a register or not okay because when we tell number dcw05 okay uh, this num will act as a label of the memory because this 5 is not stored in a variable so in a normal high level programming language and all uh, it is very easy for us to tell that we store the number in a variable and but we should know that variable is nothing but the area in a memory location actually we are storing the data in a memory right and to do that we require to store it in a or not and as i told you earlier that only two operations if you want to load any data from the memory to the register we need to use a ldr that is load register okay now to keep a copy of it why do we need to do that because 5 into 4 i need to do okay and that 4 i will get only by decrementing 1 by 1 out of 5 so to do that i need to make a copy of it and i store that r not in the r1 now as you can see that r not and r1 both are having the value Five. okay now i need to check whether the value is less than 2 because we know that any value less than 2 that is either 0 or 1 and the answer is 1 we need not to apply any logic for this right we can straight away say that output is 1 okay we need not to do any kind of operations here 
That's the reason to do that. We have checking for this condition. CMP are not comma hash two. Here hash represents data. So what does it do is it is going to uh, subtract five with two. R not is holding the value five. Five minus two is three. Of course, uh, three is not less than. Okay. So this is the condition. Branch if less than. If it is less than means if the value is uh, uh, zero or less than zero, definitely it is going to stop. Before it stops, it stores the value one into the R two and it stops. And you can see in the register window that R two is storing the value one. So your R two register we are going to take uh, to store the final output. Okay, remember this, right? R two is a register we are going to take it uh, to store the final result value that is one twenty. But in hexadecimal, one twenty will be displayed as seventy eight. So how we get seventy eight means just divide one twenty with sixteen. Okay, sixteen sevens are. One uh, twelve and of course, uh, what is the remainder is eight seventy eight. So you will not see one twenty in the register window because the, the all the numbers what is stored in the register are all hexadecimal numbers. So you will get to see seventy eight. Okay, so uh, this is very clear. I hope uh, you all understood this. We are comparing it the number with the less than two. If it is less than two, it is understood that you please stop the program. Don't need to execute this line of instructions and show the value of uh, R two as one. Okay, now if not because we have taken five, five minus two is three, right? Now of course it will store one in R two, but it is not going to execute this instruction. Now it is it will go to here. Okay, this is subtract. Okay, here what does it do means uh, it will subtract the R one by one. Okay, this is a triadic instruction as you can see R one comma R one comma hash one. Okay, so here. R1 minus 1 it does the operation first. What is R1 minus 1? It is 4, and that 4 is going to get stored in a R1 here. So the, what is the value of R1 now? 4. Now check whether that uh, 4 is uh, uh, less than uh, this thing 1. Okay, compare that uh, whether the number is 1 or not. And to do that, we need to do this operation. So for that means for each iteration, I'm just checking it out. What if I give the uh, the factorial as 1 itself? Right, factorial of one is also one. We are checked for zero in the first iteration. Second iteration, we are checking for one. If it is not, then from there, I think uh, you are going to understand. We are going to do that multiply operations and all. Of course, uh, the R one uh, R one minus uh, uh, one, so that is four minus one three. It is not equal. If it is branch one equal, please stop it. Now it is not equal. It will go for this condition. Mul R two comma R not comma R one. That means it is going to mul R not and R one. Okay, R not and R one, it is going to mul. So what is the value of R not? Five and R one is four. Five minus uh, five into four will give you twenty, and that twenty will be stored in a R two. Okay, twenty will be stored in a R two. Now move that R two to R one. Move the value of that R two to R not. Okay, and then repeat it. Branch on repeat. So again it will repeat. So this will keep repeating until this condition satisfies. If this condition is not satisfied, then it will keep on uh, iterating this uh, uh, lines of instructions. Okay. So you can see that now in the next uh, line, uh, of course, the R one is four uh, uh, and it become three now. Now again, three minus one it is two. It is not equal again. R two comma R not comma R one. So definitely, what will happen? Twenty into three. Twenty into three is become what? Sixty. Uh, Sixty is getting stored in uh, R two. Okay, then again R uh, R two is copied to R not, so R not is also holding sixty. Again branch on repeat. Again it will go here. So now the R one has become what uh, two. Compare R one R one with one. So two minus one is one. So it is not equal. And uh, again it will do the multiplication. Sixteen to two is one twenty. One twenty is getting stored in R two, but not one twenty actually. It is storing the hexadecimal of one twenty. That is seventy eight. And that copy that R not again to the R no uh, R two to the R not. Now it again repeats, and now R one becomes one. When you compare R one and with one, one minus one is zero. Is it equal? Yes. Now it is equal. Now we stop the working. Now because already we had got the answer, right? Because the factorial of five is one twenty, and the hexadecimal of one twenty is seventy eight. Now seventy eight has already stored in R two, so there is no more iterations to be covered. So it will keep stopping. Okay. Stop be stop means what happens means branch on stop. Again it will go to the same label, so it will keep. Iterating in the same instruction, it is not going to do any kind of other uh, further instructions. So your program will terminate here. Okay, this is a small program for to find the factorial of a number. Okay, now let us uh, execute this program, and to do that, I need to first save my program, translate the program to check whether there are any errors or warnings. If not, you build the program, check for any errors or warning. 
if not you can debug the program okay click on ok here and now you can see so many windows here register window disassembly window text editor command window and a memory window okay now our main focus should be towards the register window right and you can press here you can either click uh, either press f11 uh, button in a uh, keypad okay now keep pressing here so you can see the r0 is holding the address of that uh, uh, r0 is holding the number okay that is 5 here you can see it here right now uh, r1 is also has copied the value of r0 okay now compare look at here what happens okay so this is how it works 5 into 4 so 5 into 4 14 20 it is not giving a, a 20 here because 16 16 uh, okay 20 in the in that matter it is going to work 16 1 is 16 what is the uh, what is the remainder 4 so 1 and 4 14 14 is hexadecimal of a uh, hexadecimal of a 20 okay 14 right now again it will keep working see here mal 3c that is a 60 60 hexadecimal of 60 is a 3c next comes the final answer that is 78 78 is a hexadecimal of 120 after that uh, it will not proceed further okay now the r1 has become 1 it is equal now it went to the stop here this is how you can trace your program okay so that we can understand the program very well and keep looking at the registers here how these are varying here all these registers okay so this is a uh, the program to find factorial of a given number so if you have any queries regarding this program you can drop your comments in the comment section below thank you so much